Hey, it's Barnes and Leslie. Good afternoon from Francais. I've had such a great time. Fram is still here kicking it in the south of France. I'll be here for a while, and I've got, I think it's the, uh, what are those purple things? <laughs> The lavender. The lavender. The lavender fields are blooming. Something's got me for <laughs> sure. But that will not stop the sleaze. Presented by McDonald's, the best part about working at McDonald's is the people. Barnes, I haven't finished this article, but there is a bombshell report on Sean Diddy Combs in the new Rolling Stone. Really? Claiming it spoke to more than 50 people in his social and professional orbit covering his time in the music industry, and let's say go back to his college days. Yes, this report, six months in the making, details his alleged history of using violence and intimidation, particularly towards women, and they're talking graphic descriptions. Okay, let's go back. This is showing flashes of violence and controlling behavior when he was at Howard University in one incident described by some of his college contemporaries, a belligerent Combs, allegedly started screaming for his girlfriend to come outside of the dorm. The student source said that several women, several students in the dorm, were aware that they were known that his name was Puff, allegedly attacked his girlfriend outside the building, started raising the alarm in the dorm. Puff is here acting crazy, one person said. He's beating her, the fellow students said, according to one witness. A second Howard student witnessed an alleged attack. Apparently, he was all over the place. This person said he was hitting women. The second witness said he appeared super angry and was screaming at the top of his lungs. The witness said he, quote unquote, whooped her butt, like really whooped her butt. Wow. How have we not heard about any of this? The woman was trying to defend herself a little bit. She was crying, and we were telling people, get off of her. And then another incident, this guy Kirk Burroughs, who worked at Bad Boy Records, apparently he was also fired, he claims they had to separate Sean from women after they heard screams and the second of glass shattering. You're right. How have we not heard about this before? This is a lot of information that's just coming out of nowhere. One bad boy employee, Felicia Newman, alleged she once had to hold him back when he was about to, quote unquote, beat this girl's ass after a fight broke out between the two women. I'm holding him by his waist saying, you need to calm down. This is not your fight. So anyway, I will. I'm in the middle of this article and it is explosive. Deep. I don't know what's going to happen next. You want to talk about a freak accident? This is about an artist on stage. You know Taylor Momsen? Yeah, from Pretty Reckless. Yeah. Bitten by a bat and now being treated for rabies. This is insane. Dude. She was on stage with her band, the Pretty Reckless, in Spain, uh, opening for ACDC. Apparently, the bat landed on her and bit her left thigh as she finished a song. And then, however, people were saying she was unaware that she had been bitten and kind of kept performing. So picture the scene. She's up with a little, like, sundress type thing. It was like a very, you know, it wasn't tight. And it went pretty high. And she's looking at the crowd, and they're all reacting to her. And she's like, well, you'll hear. She doesn't know what's going on. Yeah, what's that? Here's how it went down. You guys are pointing at something, and I don't know what you're saying. Flying bat on my leg right now. Can someone help me, please? I must really be a witch. Muy profesional, eh? Oh my gracias. gracias! It's alright, and the bat's fine. He's gonna be my new friend. And some irony there was during their song called "Witches Burn." I can't. Um, has that ever happened before? No, nah, wow. I mean, not that. I, and the bat just flew off like it was nothing. They finally got it. But it but it did bite her? Yeah, bit her. And she said, in the moment I was performing and had no idea until the incredible crowd kept screaming and pointing. She said, he was cute, but yeah, he bit me. So rabies shots for the next two weeks. Wow. Yeah, she was doing stories on her social, like showing her getting all these treatments. Was, ooh, ooh, can you imagine a bat? It was a big yeah. bat. Nicole Kidman and Zac Efron are starring in a new romantic comedy. Uh, They previously, I don't know if you remember, they played Lovers. They're starring in a new movie for Netflix called A Family Affair. But I have to tell you, Barnes, Joey King is also in the movie who I really like. She plays a young assistant to a movie star. Things quickly grow complicated 
when she learns that her single mother is having an affair with her boss. Check out the trailer. This is madness, right? Yeah, this is your mom <laughs> and your boss who you hate. It's weird. I went a little crazy. I'm allowed, right? I've been waiting for you forever. Is that a lifetime movie? Yeah. This is just getting worse by the minute. After two years of being his assistant, I know him very well. He's self-absorbed and selfish. This thing with my mother, this gross sex capade thing, it's over. Bye, Chris. Bye. See ya. You're not Jack and Rose. Just get out of the car. I love being your mother more than anything in this world. But I am starting to feel things that I never thought I would feel again. Not since your father. What? I know. All right, you did not get me. Nicole Kidman <laughs> screaming. You know what that means, don't you? She's going to be butt-ass naked. Oh. Uh, you know she is. Nicole and Zac Efron getting it on. That movie is coming out June 28th. And we have our entire June streaming preview oh. coming for you next in the next segment. Yeah. Uh, if you've been taken in by a scam, you aren't alone. Just ask Riley Keough. She came very close to losing Graceland because of one an identity thief from Nigeria bragging about his attempt <laughs> to auction off Graceland. Yes, the New York Times reached out to someone uh, at Nosani Investments, the company that filed for a sale of Graceland. And guess what? The scammer admitted to trying to steal identities of dead people and senior citizens in the U.S. Um, of the almost sale of an iconic site, the man said, I had fun figuring this one out, and it didn't succeed very well. Can you imagine? Nobody is safe, even the Presleys by Nigerian princes. You know what's crazy about that? I kept seeing that story thinking, what is going to happen to Graceland? And there you have it. And it seemed like it was progressing very quickly. But if they're stealing the identity of someone dead, I wonder who. I wonder which dead person uh, couldn't have been Elvis. Maybe Lisa Marie? Could be. Stealing yes. her identity? So weird. And finally, Jennifer Lopez has canceled her This Is Me Live summer tour to spend more time with her family, and she says she is heartsick over the decision. Uh -huh. Now, a lot of people went to social media to say, well, it's because you couldn't sell tickets, J-Lo. Other people were saying, well, if she goes on tour, he's going to divorce her. But what do you think? If you pull up the maps to the cities, to most of the cities where she's going, you know how it shows gray where the seats are gone? Yes, yes. It is full on all colors available. You can walk up and get a front row seat. That's how bad it is. So you think this whole message about I'm completely heartsick and devastated about letting you down. This is about her and nobody caring because she's so self-centered She's already changed the name of the tour. She tried to like do this whole make it a hits, you know, a hits tour. Like this is all. breaking my heart because I really like J Lo. Oh. I mean, I do. I love her. Okay, more to come. That's your celebrity sleaze.